Hi, this is Habib from Preston Audi, and this is the Audi TT Coupe S line. This model has the 45 TFSI engine with 245 PS and the slick S Tronic gearbox, delivering an impressive 0 to 60 time of just 5.1 seconds. This model has had one previous owner. Starting at the front of the car, we have the S line enhanced exterior styling, including the aeronaut grills, radiator grill, and front bumper, giving this a more stylish front end over the Sport Edition model. While as standard, we have quattro four wheel drive system, meaning you'll receive the same driving experience under any condition. While as standard, we have the striking LED headlights, providing high quality illumination. Moving around the side, we have the stylish 19 inch 5 arm forged design alloy wheels, which look amazing and complement the stunning Daytona grey paintwork perfectly. While there's also S line badges on the front wings, heated, electrically adjustable, and folding body colour door mirrors, the integrated LED side indicators, and even though this is just a styling reference, the fuel filler cap is a reference for the original Audi TT from the late 1990s, while there are other references dotted around the car, which we'll come around to later. Moving around the back, we have LED rear lights with dynamic rear indicators, and as mentioned earlier, the s sign enhanced exterior styling also includes a rear bumper and rear diffuser, giving this a sporty overall look, while we also have the twin exhausts, which sound like this in dynamic mode. <laughs> To access the boot, just hold down the button on the key or use a soft release on the hatch. For quite a nimble coupe, this has a surprisingly spacious boot with 280 litres of space or the equivalent of three medium sized bags, so adding a shopping or even a pusher should be really easy. While folding down the rear seats using the toggle switches which can access via the boot or by the front seats means you can add in those larger and longer items, such as golf clubs. And once you loaded everything, just pull down to close. Overall, this is a stunning coupe that definitely looks the part, especially in the stunning Daytona grey paintwork. While even though it has a nimble profile, there's a surprisingly spacious interior with plenty of space for all passengers to sit comfortably. While accessing the rear seats couldn't be easier by using the toggle switch on either of the front seats. Even though the rear seats are more suited to children and younger adults, it is surprisingly spacious in the back, while the leather and Alcantara upholstery adds that luxury feel you expect from an Audi interior, while there's also the added benefit of ice fix points for the rear seats, so you can be reassured that your child seats will stay secure while on the move. Now let's have a look at the interior from the driver's perspective. And what a stunning interior this is. In front of you there's a flat bottom, three spoke leather, multifunction sports steering wheel with buttons to control the virtual cockpit you see ahead of you. On the left hand side of the steering wheel we have these toggle switches which can use to change the display ahead. We have general car information which can display consumption, both short term and long term, as well as driver assist. There's also DAB, digital radio and media, telephone equipment for your connected device, as well as navigation. And you can use the toggle switcher to zoom in and out of the map. While if you click view you can change the size of those dials. This model has only done 21,783 miles, while as it was registered on the 29th of June 2019, its warranty is still valid until the 29th of June 2022, while it will also come with the original set of two keys. There's no need for a second screen when the infotainment system is integrated directly within the virtual cockpit, and using the MMI controller dial on the centre console, you can easily navigate through the system on the move without taking your eyes off the road. We also have the toggle switches with preloaded shortcut menus, such as DAB digital radio, Media controls for your connected device with various sources such as Bluetooth and auxiliary. Telephone equipment for your connected device, as well as navigation. And you can use the MMI controller dial to zoom in and out of the map. Moving to the centre console, we have the controls for the manual air conditioning, with the controls directly integrated within the air vents. Not only are these really easy to use while on the move, but they are also a reference for the original Audi TT, which also had the controls directly integrated within the air vents. While we also have the added benefit of heated front seats, which will come really handy, especially on those cold winter mornings. You can activate them by pushing the toggle switch or by rotating the dial. As standard, we have Drive Select, which allows you to alter the driving dynamics by choosing one of the pre-configured modes. There's plenty of modes to choose from, such as Comfort and Auto, with our personal favourite being Dynamic, as it's the most driver-focused. Not only that, but we also have the retractable rear spoiler, which you can deploy at the touch of a button on the centre console. Once you click it, it will deploy the spoiler which really adds to the aesthetics of this coupe. And then to retract it, just hold down the button on the centre console and it will neatly fold in like so. There's also leather and Alcantara upholstered front sport seats, which are really comfortable and supportive, especially on long journeys. 
while the aluminium interior elements uplift the interior ambience. Overall, this is a stunning interior, blending high quality materials at build quality with some great technology. This was the walk around of the Audi TT Coupe S line. If you'd like to arrange a viewing, test drive, or request a personalised finance quote, please contact us. Thank you for watching.